And then up in the northwest, could be a couple of tornadoes, some damaging winds and some large hail. Today's Torcon values, the Tornado Condition Index, five in southwest of Missouri, and then five there in that Texas, Louisiana area. Samantha? Nick? All right, thank you very much, Dr. Forbes. Obviously, areas we'll be watching for the next several hours. Yeah, one of those areas that Dr. Forbes just mentioned is southwestern Missouri. And joining us now from there via Skype is storm chaser Matt Gingry, and he is in Ozark, Missouri. That is a suburb of Springfield. And Matt, right now, it looks like things are uh, rather quiet, but we are expecting things to really pick up. What are you expecting? I was kind of uh, thinking the same along the same lines. Uh, there is a there is a small tornado risk in our area, and uh, uh, maybe as the evening progresses, progresses this, those storms will begin to fire. And uh, it's 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 uh, obviously an area that has received a lot of rain here over the last several weeks. Ground's kind of saturated, um, a flood threat in that area as well. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, driving home from Oklahoma last night. Uh, we ran into some serious flooding through that area, through Tulsa, and uh, all the way up 44 into the Springfield area. We've had uh, major flooding issues uh, with all the rainfall that we have gotten lately. So we need to be just as uh, on top of that situation as it can be a real a life threatener as well. Um, Matt, you said you drove from Oklahoma last night. Where were you in Oklahoma, and did you witness any of the uh, tornadoes? Yesterday, I believe there were 20 Five tornadoes reported yesterday, 16 of them in Oklahoma. Did you witness any of these? Yes, actually I did. Uh, I uh, intercepted a tornado near the town of Bison, which is north of Oklahoma City, large stovepipe, and uh, it had uh, 